Hey guys, Justice Curry back. We're continuing our tour of the Kalamazoo surrounding areas with my buddy Clint. Um, we had to go to one of my favorite toy shops called Chronocade and check it out. Thank goodness the owner is here. So we're gonna head on. I'll give you a quick little tour of the place. Again, I wanna do a more in-depth one at a, a different date and time, but it expands. Look at this, toys, toys video games video games awesomeness warhammer um so as you already met the insane eating machine clint here and then here is my good friend spencer how are you spencer good, good friend's a little bit of a stretch <laughs> <laughs> that's true i can lie on camera um but spencer is the owner of chrono Cade and he's been here uh almost almost six years now this will be my sixth year no mm -hmm. that's impossible it's over five i just looked like I remember coming in the first week when you had the other, the smaller yeah, location. Yeah, we're like two, it's almost three years here oh now. Oh my gosh. I saw on Time Hop just the other day that it was uh, it was three years ago that you came in that day when we were painting the walls. Oh, three years ago when you were painting. Yes, because these walls were inspired by, was it Batman, Batman Joker? Originally, yeah, it was going to be, uh, all the walls are purple and originally all the slab board was going to be green, but... We moved here and wanted to open in three days for a tournament that we were having, so we didn't end up painting the slap board. But in tournament, like I, I don't know if a lot of I, I'm kind of unfamiliar with it. Is it, are you talking about a tournament with Warhammer? Uh, back then, I think it was a Warhammer tournament on a Saturday that we had, and then yeah. we also had a Friday Night Magic. That yeah. Night, which we don't we don't do Friday Night Magic anymore, but we have Warhammer tournaments and ITC competitive Warhammer tournaments. All and time. Warhammer is one of the tabletop games that guys. You have some of them yeah, right here. Over here. Yeah, go ahead. So they they paint these individually up, and then they have powers and and moves and. It's like a really complicated form of racing. Okay, interesting. And I mean, I love the art of it. And you had a giant. Oh, here he is. Yep, yeah, that a, one. That's a titan. You Look figure most figures are about this big. Right. So he's a he's a big one. Gosh. Dang it, that and is... All the terrain over there is all used for the game, all those, all those tables. And, and it's it certainly is interesting. I like seeing, you know, there's a ton of guys in here, you know, like-minded people, and they're playing it and having fun, and and then you got toys around, because you, you play it yourself, oh, yeah. you know, yeah, and you enjoy it. it. Yeah. Um, and then one of your big passions, I've known from seeing your, your toy collection, is Transformers. So yep. this is kind of your baby, uh, some of your extra Transformers. Which, yeah. out of this case, you had the biggest attachment to? Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. See, probably, for me personally, would be Snap Trap right here. Ooh. This is my favorite from when I was a kid. Yes. Um, just and, one of my favorites. And he combines to make... Yeah, the, he uh, combines with the other Seacons to make... Predic? Is it no, Predicon? No, it's not Predicon. It's... Uh, does There's another one right there. Oh, yes. Hey, what does he combine to make? I can't remember right now. Yeah, yeah. But uh, his name is Snap Trap. They're the uh, Pronicons. I just can't remember what he's combined for. You know what? I'll edit it in later and Thanks. be like... Yeah, it's gonna, so, I'm going to hate my sure. <laughs> I do that all the time when I'm doing a video and there's something I know, like someone's name. I'll be like, this is my friend. Um, yeah, uh, right. What's his name again? Because <laughs> it's, it's called a brain fart when you're under pressure. But I love... You got some really, really neat things in here with mask and Motu. Oh my goodness, yes. One of my, one of my big things yeah. is I, I do, like I find toys for people. Yes. You know what I mean? Like somebody will come in, like my friend Perry over here mm -hmm. wanted this Transformers Jazz figure. Uh, he's been after it forever. And so Perry collects Transformers for me. Yeah. And this is the figure he's been waiting on for a while. Oh, that is awesome. And then you get to, you know, Pass and I get it along. Like reward of getting toys for people that you know that they, they really want. Yeah, so yeah, really cool. I definitely agree. Oh my goodness, what what are you seeing, Clint? That's catching your eye, or you have a story or a memory, or? I like one. I always, I actually still have this guy. Which one? He's a part of Abominus. I'm gonna say his name is Hunger. Yep. He's a combiner. Which one? Right here in the middle. I always thought he was really cool just because of his. This dude. He's like this head. two guy. Yeah. Oh wow. Um. But he stands up. He transforms pretty easily. You got him here. He has little dragon feet. Oh, yeah. That's transforming. Yes. That's it. Oh, my God. Just gosh. turn his head around. Oh. 
but yeah. he's sentimental to you. Um, my brother Tony had him as a kid, and it was just one of those toys that was handed down to me. Okay. And I'm sure our viewers at home are like, does that guy have a gold tooth? Can you tell me the, the I can do. you can you tell us the story? <laughs> I have a gold tooth. I had a chip tooth. Yep. And uh, my wisdom teeth started to crowd it, mm -hmm. and it chipped. And I went to the dentist, and he said, "Yeah, it'll, it's going to be like eight hundred dollars after insurance." And I was like, "Eight hundred dollars after for a gold tooth?" Yeah. And he's like, "No, eight hundred for a white tooth. A gold tooth is like three <laughs> hundred." I was like, "Well, give me the gold tooth." No. I'll say six hundred. I'm, I'm just being frugal. Oh, yeah. that that is hilarious. So that's, that's what we ended up with. And I'm sure your significant other loves that. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. She gets. Uh, She's okay with it. She's come to terms with it. Okay. It's good. either that or that one. <laughs> I wasn't going to budge on it. I love it. I don't want many things in life, but a gold tooth is one of them. Heck yeah, man. It's on your bucket list, right? Oh, there's that's the longer fan okay. one, thing one that we were talking yeah. about. That one has a chip. Just like I told you with it falls face forward and crack, breaks. Oh, isn't that neat? Like you get a hot and the screen turns on. Oh. Some of the neat video games that he has in the case. I think I sold that to him years ago. Obviously, no one wants it. <laughs> the power pad. Really? <laughs> yeah. They're fairly popular. You know what I like? You should buy this, man, for your shop. That check, is kind of cool. Check that out, dude. Get that. If it plugs in? No, no, no. It's a, it's a homemade one. Oh. Someone made it. Really? Yeah. And it's made out of just that, like... Uh, thick like plastic. That's a pretty cool. Uh, Isn't that job. neat? I love that thing. Look at that. Without the glare. That is fairly difficult to do. Too. I bet. I there tried. It is. It's you tried. <laughs> oh. This case. I found one at a garage sale for a buck. I got one of those. I so, liked it. Um, I've got that one. I had the N64 version. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Weird. That is one of those things that just still sits on my shelf. I used to have that. this when I was a kid. I don't even know what that is. Oh my Never goodness. This like predates anything. Wow. Lesson one. It was kind of I thought this was the coolest toy ever Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shadows of the Empire. If you touch the front of it, it explodes the entire thing. That was whenever I was like, oh, these toys are going to be worth millions. Yes, it's worth less now than it was in the stores <laughs> in the 90s. Size, size a bit, especially if it's open. Right. right. Very fun toys. Which is oh, I, don't, I don't recognize this thing. What is this? Oh, that's going to be some anime. Type thing. Yeah. You know, I really do love these. Legends are so cool. I just, I kind of get, I kind of collect them. There's out. too many of yeah. them, man. There are just so many. And they're geniuses with these Build-A-Figures. Oh, yeah. So they make you buy figures that you don't care about just so that, you can get that, a cool... That, but the, they're amazing, too. Yes, yes. It's not like, I mean, if you get, you buy five of these and you pay $110, but you also get a massive foot-tall yes, figure. Yes. So it's like, that's a $50 figure. Absolutely, absolutely. Are you breaking things? I stepped on it wrong. Oh, no. no. Well, no one else. I'll, I'll edit that out later. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, some vintage video games. I just love going through them. Oh my goodness. I remember when he first opened, he told me a story about some, uh, some kids coming in here, some teenagers, and they would take all the price tags off, put them here, and walk up to the counter and sell him his own games. Really? Yes, and then he would go, he would give him the money or whatever, and Coda put him back, and he's like, yeah, I had, what the, I had these games. I, so did he ever catch them? No. I, he might have, I, I never followed up with the story if um, it was a one and done, you know. I, it was, I just was laughing so hard. I should have killed him. He <laughs> should have killed him. Though. I made it. <laughs> he goes, I would. Oh, you're a big Turtles fan. He's got some movie. I love movie. that. That's true. That is Americana. As good as it gets. I already, yeah. saw, I already sent a picture of it. Not only that, but the toilet seat says, uh, Aim like a Jedi, not like a stormtrooper. Yes, anymore. yes. I appreciate that very much. I love it. Absolutely. Love it. Oh, some controllers. 
when I was going through my phase of trying to own every Nintendo game, I would always come in here and, you know, pick, go through my little list. And one time I made a stack of like 30 games and I get home and I rebought the same game twice in the same stack. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. You know, I've never heard of Dino, but I can Which one? That one. I kind of love it. It's like Harvey Birdman. It does look like. I bet you that's where it... No, Harvey Birdman no, is that's... Harvey Birdman, but that's cool. I never heard of this either. I have to find out what that is. 1976, Hanna Barbera. Oh yeah, so it has to be. Yeah, it has, has that old, old, has old patina. Oh my goodness. One of my favorite spots up here is when we go in here. And then I can go through and just see these weapons. So I'll, I'll go through and go, oh my gosh. It's, you know, a dollar a weapon or whatever. And then he gets a bunch of extra ones. He'll throw it in here. I'll go, oh, a night force thing. Or, you know, I've been looking for that. Or that's a bat thing. Um, so I absolutely love the hunt. Like cherry picking a hunt. You know, that's a oh. collection. Last time I was here, I think I bought like 55 He-Man figures from him out of this, this tote. Oh, he's got oh. some more now. I, I grabbed every single one there was. That's a new he hooked adventure. me up with a, a decent deal with them. Yeah, these are his miscellaneous. And he's got other ones. I mean, look at that. Look at, look at this price. Five bucks for a trap jaw? You could, re you could sell that for 15 bucks on eBay. So he's really, um, probably a dollar a piece. He's really good with his uh, his pricing here at Chrono Cade. So we're gonna sign off. All right, this is Clint, digging through a pile, and Justice signing off in front of Cade. Justice Curry here, Clint Edwards is contemplating on doing the don't even think about burrito step up to the table. Yeah, I'd love to see a representation of it. I'm nervous. Isn't that insane? This guy is a world's champion eater. All right, so Clint's getting ready for the challenge. He has to eat the don't even think about it burrito, which is massive. Look at how crazy this is. So he's, he's confident. He's done uh, many eating challenges in the past. We're gonna see if this, if he's finally met his match. Cause he told me you've never not completed a challenge. Not a burrito. I failed a barbecue challenge. A barbecue challenge. Well, how are you feeling right now? I feel, I'm not hungry, but I feel okay. <laughs> he's not hungry. <laughs> I'm really not, but I feel all right. Oh my goodness, this is. Am I ready to start? Uh, this is sex. I'm ready. Oh, are you already? Yeah. <laughs> the dedication.
13, 11, 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Huh? Yeah! Woo! Yes, man! He is the man! Look at that! A photo finish! Holy moly! How you feel? Oh, yeah. I got. I was three by ten. I was like, this sucks. But then I got it. You like got it done on the dot. No. Oh, I'm fine. Uh, what, do I have a diet coat? Yeah. Congratulations, my friend.